Welcome back to Sunday Sports Extra. Here comes your answer to Western Siding Trivia. Boise State picked up its first ever win over Washington State and its first ever road win over Oregon State in games two and three in 2016, part of a 7-0 start. Tyler Horton had an 85-yard pick six against the Cougars, and Jeremy McNichols had a 200-yard game versus the Beavers. Sorry, Jay. And <laughs> I just saw him moaning over there. Uh, remember to check out the daily updated Scotland column. You can find it every weekday at ktvb.com. How was it moaning? Just excitement for you? Oh, well, it was a heavy sigh. A heavy <laughs> sigh. Well, let's just say I'm excited to hit the bye week, Tom. Yeah. I'm oh boy. I think we all are, but excited to hit the bye week. And man, uh, we get two of them this year. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> double awesomeness. Uh, it's even better that the Boise State rolls into their first bye 4-0. They knock off Air Force. Uh, we'll start with Hank Bachmeyer. You know, I, I wish we could talk about a different narrative when it comes to Hank, but it is what it is. He's super good on third down, and he can take contact and still deliver. And, you know, the, it improved in the second half. The, uh, they, they protected Hank a lot better in the second half. He went seven for eight. Mm -hmm. He was on the money. He got help from his wide receivers, yep. though. C.T. Thomas and John Hightower with that catch at the 10-yard line mm -hmm. on, on the drive that really put the game away. That was unbelievable. Yeah. These guys are good. Yeah, really good. And Hank continues to impress. And I find myself continuing to say, this kid does not look like a true freshman out there. Looks like a seasoned veteran. He throws like one. Uh, ooh, man, he was impressive. I yeah, and, and it's going to get better. It's, it's, he is only going I mean, to improve. That's the crazy thing, right? right? And I know that he gets hit, but I, I'll go back to this. Boise State's stretching the field like they haven't in a while before. I mean, Hank's already got 23 completions of 20 or more yards. That, that puts him on pace for more than the FBS leader had last year. Two had 72. Hank's on pace for over 80 right now. I mean, we talked about that on the pregame show, but there, there is a little give and take with him holding on to the ball a little bit. There is also some payoff, and a guy that is benefiting from it right now is C.T. Thomas. Ooh, oh, he's yeah. averaging over 20 yards a catch. Yeah, that, that's impressive. And then, then the best, th here's, here's C.T.'s catch. And, and I thought his best throw of the night, though, Hanks, was the, the seam route to, mm -hmm. to John Bates. Mm -hmm. uh, that was really it's special. Pretty, right, right through the window. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. C.T. Thomas with a new career high, 119 receiving yards on Friday, making catches like that, the diving catch. He's so reliable. You, you know, he, he's only listed at what about five foot ten mm -hmm. or so. Um, but I mean, throw it in that area. Mm -hmm. He's going to come down with it more often than not, and he plays with the confidence, yeah. a swagger that I think that his teammates C they build off. CT's got some mitts on him, though. He does. I mean, he, he's he does. Got some and, paws. and we're we're mm -hmm. talking with Eric Kisa, the wide receivers coach, before the season, and I think CT echoed this after the game. But Eric was telling us, yeah, he may, might only be five nine, five eight. But he plays like he, he believes he's the biggest guy on the field, and he has supreme confidence. It's showing up for a little while there. Khalil Shakir stole his third down receiving title. Now <laughs> CT's back. Yeah, C C yeah, yeah and back. you think he has long uh -huh. arms uh, along with the mitts, yep. and so he goes up and gets the ball. So he plays at about 6'1", mm -hmm. effectively, mm -hmm. uh, because of his length. Yep. Uh, really quick, you did just mention the, the John Bates TD. You got a great shot of it uh, during the game. Uh, he's another guy that continues to impress. He's already got a single season career high in catches and receiving yards, 157 receiving yards, the most out of any Mountain West tight end right now. He went quiet for that Portland State game. And but we talked about like it Like we said, yes. it was an anomaly. It he was, would be back, yeah. and he came back in a big way. Had three catches over 40 yards. Um, the tight ends last year didn't have too many games where they had over 40 yards as a group, and, and now Bates has three out of four games where he's had over 40 yards receiving. He's... He's a guy that's he's his own different type of weapon, but man, massive body that, that adds to this offense. He's a dude. Yep. You look at him, he is massive, mm -hmm. absolutely. He's a great security blanket for Hank Bachmeyer. Yep. Can look over the middle, see that big target, find him. Well, yeah. and, you know, that's another point as, we, as we're kind of uh, laying this out too. You know, John's already got more targets and catches than he had all of last year. There were times where he stayed in and, and helped protect mm -hmm. last year. They're right. getting him out more. And, I guess what I'm saying is sometimes there might be an explanation as why there are a few more hits on the QB, but mm -hmm. Hank's a kid that's tough. I mean, he, he, well, he's, the, he's taking them. The wide receiver group this year mm -hmm. is so good, and, and Hank is still yeah. looking for the tight end. Mm -hmm. he's, still, he's got that in his arsenal, despite the fact that he has a, a wide receiver yep. group that may be the best in school history. Yeah, uh, in terms of the depth, right, depth. man, yeah. I, 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 I'm starting to agree with that for sure. Uh, Robert Mahone, he had a, a kind of a modest last couple of games, came out full force against Florida State. Um, 
was limited because of a shoulder injury against Marshall, had six early carries and took the rest of the night off against Portland State. But we saw him really become a, maybe a finisher yeah. against Air Force. Yeah, I think uh, at halftime, I think people are saying, why aren't they running the dang ball? And I think maybe in the locker room they were saying, why aren't we running the dang ball? Because they came out in the second half, the fourth quarter especially, ran the ball very, very well. And Mahone with those two 10-yard touchdown runs, this, this brought the house down here yep. because it was, it was separation. Mm -hmm. And the Broncos dearly needed separation. How do you finish a football game in the fourth quarter? Run it the down football. the opponent's throat. Yep. That's exactly, exactly what yeah. Boise State did and able to finish that game strongly. And what you surprised me with, his, his yards per carry, mm -hmm. what is it? I mean, he's close to Five, six. 5.8, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. He's, he's, he's up there. Yeah. And because he, he was stifled mm -hmm. um, in, a, in a couple of games there, but he's maintaining. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that Robert Mahone is also a big time answer for them down in the red zone. Mm -hmm. um, he said he didn't have a red zone carry versus uh, Marshall or Portland State. Portland State, Boise State was great in the red zone, but I mean, those were you know the Marshall game they struggled a little bit down there and you look at when they had him against Air Force and when they had him against Florida State you know he's got he had two rushing touchdowns inside the red zone in both those games and he's averaging upwards of four yards per carry in the red zone and that might seem average like if you're out at midfield but four <laughs> yards of carry in the red zone mm -hmm. that's yeah. a tough sledding down yeah there. I mean it's yeah. only this yeah. big yeah <laughs> but I think he's, he showed off his agility on that run I, I, I yeah I think we've we there's good things with John or with well John Hightower both of them. Robert yeah, Mahone. Robert yeah. Mahone, yeah. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> John, I uh, there, there's, Mahone there's great things to come with, with Robert Mahone. I think we, we've, we haven't even seen the best of him And yet. we keep throwing out these names, and, and this team is going to get better. They're, yep. they're, they can be so much better. Mm -hmm. There's so much improvement still to come uh, if, if, they, if they do that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it, it looks good. We're, we're getting a little tight on time, but we got to okay. talk about the defense because oh, now we're four games into the season. They've allowed nine total points in the second half. They've outscored their opposition 61-9 to nine in the crunch time. Yeah, defense was fantastic Friday night. Held Air Force to 244 rushing yards. Mm -hmm. They entered it averaging 356 per game. That was second best in the country. Fantastic effort from Boise State. And, and only 120 yarder, as yeah. I mentioned. Mm -hmm. and, and the other thing was that fourth down stop. That yeah. fourth down stop was something special. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, they make plays. This team makes plays. And uh, Kakala Canijo's interception. I mean, they were playmaking in the fourth quarter, and that's what winning teams do. Yep. Couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. Sanatani Louie, shout out for 16 tackles, the big man, man flying around. That's kind of what you get against the triple option. That defensive tackle is going to be busy, and, and he was busy all night long. Mm -hmm. But 16, plays. I mean, mm -hmm. usually a D tackle gets seven tackles, and you go, boy, that's an impressive game. Yeah. Seven tackles. 16 a, is, you know, maybe a sack or I mean, something. Leighton Vanderish has 16. Exactly. We're like, that's, wow, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. 16 the, the from a, from a tackle yeah. is big. Yeah.